Here's my second mathematical tool. This one's probably a little simpler than the the addition and subtraction of vectors. But but basically, what I, I have two sliders again within a vector. So the vector one one is this vector out here. I can bring this up. Let's bring that up to roughly five. We'll bring this one up to roughly five. This little vector is just the normal or normalized, not no normal, the normalized version of the vector here that the sliders control. And then what we see here pointing to the left is the counterclockwise perpendicular vector. It's basically this vector turned 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians this way and then this way is the um, counter or the clockwise, the clockwise perpendicular vector which uh, is pi over 2 or 90 degrees this way. Okay so this just this is kind of interesting to be able to kind of change this vector value. Notice when I slide the x, the tip of that top vector, this vector here, uh, its y doesn't change. It stays on that same y line. Okay? And the same thing, let me line it up with the y axis here. It looks like I'm out 5, roughly. This is 5. So this is, this is a y axis here of 5, or, or x of 5. But then the y I can change. Notice the tip of that arrow doesn't doesn't leave that axis essentially the that's fixed in x so to say anyway um, if you notice the if you think of these these uh, perpendiculars uh, and if you don't even let's say I took all the heads off these vectors it looks like uh, this vector here the slope of it well if I can make the slope you know y equals mx plus b so the slope of this is roughly 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up one over one up. So it's like y equals mx plus b. Well, the m in this case is one. Notice the slope of these. And think about how the slope of these two vectors compares with the slope of these ones. And, and that might. I'm not going to give it away in this video, but that might. That's a strong hint as to as to how you get these perpendicular vectors uh, from a certain vector. It's actually not that hard. Uh, your your first intuition would be let's take pi over two and cosines and sines and do some trigonometry, which is nice, but actually you, it's a lot. You can do it a lot faster without doing all those extra steps of work.